हेलो गाइस वंस अगेन वेलकम यू ऑल टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल द स्टाडा इनसाइडर सो इन प्रीवियस ट्यूटोरियल वी हैव सीन द लाइसेंसिंग पार्ट ऑफ इन सी वेयर वी हैव कैलकुलेटेड नंबर ऑफ टैक्स और डिपेंडिंग अपॉन डिफरेंट कंपोनेंट्स डिफरेंट ड्राइवर्स प्रोटोकॉल्स हाउ द लाइसेंसिंग इज वायरिंग इन टूडे सेशन वी विल सी हाउ टू इंस्टॉल इन सी सॉफ्टवेयर सो वी विल गो विथ थ्री वर्जन फॉर टूडे सेशन ओके Uh, we will install a uh, 3.19.1 software okay so i will just share you some details regarding it so here we can see the details uh, that is product version is 3.19.1 so what does it mean is it is like 3.19 version with patch 1 so there are many versions available for vincis ui like it started long back uh, like 3.13 14 15 till 3.19 so previous versions like i can say 3.18 there was patch 1 to patch 15 available like 3.19.1 till uh, like 3.18.1 till 3.18.15 the size of the exe is 1.74 gb okay now today i am going to install this particular software in windows 10 pc so uh, you need to have this setup exe now click on run as uh, administrator so once you click on uh, run as administrator uh, you will uh, receive a pop up on your desktop screen that uh, do you need to make any changes in your pc so you need to select uh, yes or you need to allow the setup so just now i receive a pop up uh, which is shown as user account control do you want to allow this app to make changes to your uh, device so i will select yes so i think this is not recorded in this particular uh, screen uh, because it was on second screen of my laptop once you select yes then a pop up will appear for the installation menu Here we can see such kind of pop-up will appear. That is Windows UI 3.19 installer, where we have some different configurations available. Like language setting is available. You can select three different languages by default. Now you need to click on next button. On coming uh, to the second tab, here we can see some setup options available with you. Like uh, by default, uh, you will get the base selection, base installation, and Influx DB executable. So in previous version, Influx DB executables were not available. Uh, from Windows UI 3.19, you will get this option also. So this is Influx DB available in this version. Now there are other uh, modules also like Desktop UI, S7 Plus driver, Copy Net, Video Editor. So these are separate additional modules that are optional. If you need to configure them in your uh, software you just need to select the particular option like what is desktop ui it is basically a client pc so where you, you need to have scada server and client uh, package so you can go with the desktop ui so if you have some another protocol like s7 plus driver is available for the devices that are communicating over s7 plus uh, that uh, devices that are communicating over popinet you can select this particular driver so the packages of this driver will be installed along with your software video add-on is specially for cctv related requirement where you need to capture the video or, or you need to show video on your uh, screens in scada okay so you need to go with the video add-on packages then the example project so many of uh, us may be beginners uh, so when you click on example project two default projects uh, will be provided by this particular software setup so that can be uh, used as a reference project for creating more projects API API is basically if you want to communicate with any third party devices over a REST API so you can go with API so API is nothing but application process inter so you can select the uh, API option here and then old version support so what is old version support in this case suppose if you have prepared uh, uh, already you have uh, any project of incisi in previous versions like 3.18 or 3.17 or 3.16 so you need to select this option so this option will help you to migrate those old projects into new scada projects like in vincis ui 3.19 okay until and unless this tick is not uh, uh, selected you cannot upgrade or migrate the previous versions to the new versions 
then coming to the documentation here we can see uh, there are three uh, languages are available in by default like german english and russian so i will select uh, documentation in english then uh, for installation directly so this is the software installation path by default it is in c drive siemens automation ncc 3.19 and project directory so here we have selected the example projects so this example projects will be available inside this part or we can say that they are installed in the vincis ui project path okay so this part can be changed but you do not need to touch this part so this is default part please don't touch uh, or don't change this part then at the right hand side uh, we can see uh, here as a uh, like the overall size is 2.93 gb available Okay, so 2.93 GB must be available in C drive during the installation process. So uh, my PC configuration is currently like uh, I am using a Windows 10 PC, and in Windows 10 I have i7 processor along with 8 GB RAM. So this is the minimum uh, recommended. Like you can also go with i5 processor or i3, but the RAM requirement must be more than 8 GB RAM. So it will be compatible with. It will work fine at this configuration. Now click on next button. So once you click on next button, you can see the software is started installing. So there are different packages available. They will uh, ins install one by one. Currently, we can see here uh, there are different components uh, at the right hand side above the cancel button, and the packages are being getting installed. So it might take some time now. Like it might take around 10 minutes to 15 minutes, depending upon your system uh, processor. So we will wait for some time to get the software installed.
this app application is been getting installed it just takes some more time to install it so these are all the additional components uh, that are being getting installed So now the uh, here we can see the software has been installed. So it is written as WinCCY 3.19 setup completed successfully. Okay. Click on exit button. On exit button, it may ask you to reboot the system because once the software is being installed, you need to uh, reboot the system so that all the necessary files are being updated properly. After installation, uh, you can just uh, go to the search bar and uh, you can search uh, like. WinCC OA. So here uh, you will be able to see like WinCC web project administration, then WinCC web console. So this is confirming as that the software is properly installed. Now in coming series we will see how to create WinCC web projects. We will explore uh, the demo projects uh, which were already uh, provided by this software setup. Okay. And after this installation. Uh, you can see the changes in your C drive so there are two folders being created that is Siemens folder uh, that was a project directory uh, like a software directory path which we have given while installing the software so here we will see the necessary files from Siemens for WinCC UA. also WinCC UA project path so these are the demo projects that are provi provided by default so uh, this project can be taken as reference to uh, develop new projects okay guys so that's what that's all for today's tutorial stay tuned for next tutorial